Welcome to Basilisk, a game made by Kira, the same developer who made, uh, obviously, uh, was it, um, uh, Lost in Vivo, was it? Mostly people know them for Lost in Vivo and, oh, what was it? Ah, not poppies, fuck me. <laughs> uh, Jump Scare Mansion. Ghosties? Spookies? Spookies! That's it. Spookies jump scare mansion. I was just trying to remember things ad lib ahead of time. That's what happens when you don't use scripts, man. You have to try to remember it. Like you have archival memory of everything. But anyways, yeah. Spookies jump scare mansion in Lost in Vivo. Um, but it's a SNES game, Super Nintendo, on an emulator. So it's Super Nintendo based made by them. Very interesting. Really caught my eye. So I'll be giving it a try while other YouTubers are going crazy playing the likely Dying Light 2. We gotta try to play the hidden gems, alright? Obviously. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that place's fucking name, I know I'm gonna get it wrong. Untold hardship befalls the kingdom, a time of famine. The king struggles to provide for his people and allocate food f to the peasants. <laughs> the serfs, you mean. It's also shit on my glasses. So there we go. You, a simple knight, are dispatched to hear out the people. But it may be too late when you arrive at town. It was not what you expected. The town is deserted. And the buildings are gone. And there's a shrill howl in the air. Ooh. I wonder if I should play with a controller or not. I'm not sure. Super Nintendo controls are not that sophisticated. And use a D-pad so you usually can get away with mouse and keyboard. We'll see. Yeah, and it's like 3D old style, man. It's cool. But it's also pixelated, so I love it. I'll just have to see what the controls are, I'm not sure. Nor don't even know where I'm at. Anything? And yeah, this is the classic first person days. You Zoomers wouldn't understand. This is just how things were, man. Should I follow the sounds, maybe? We'll just randomly go in a direction and hope it's right. Hmm. Like, what am I looking for? Where am I going? What is possibly lost in these woods? Don't know. It just looks like endless woods, though. I'll mess with the buttons, let's see. Shift, tab, Z, X, Y... Don't seem to... Oh, oh, oh wait! Oh! M! M and N looks up and down, okay. It's good to know. How about pig up and pig down? No. M and N. Okay, that's good to know. If we didn't know about M and N, we wouldn't be able to look down, which might be useful later. Who knows? Hm, wait. Is the edge of the map? Well, let's drop. If we can. I don't think this is what's intended. Hang on. There's a, I think there's a limit. I'm holding backwards, but then I move... Oh, no. What the hell? Man, I'm really confused. What? Maybe there's, like, a village here, and I just haven't found the buildings. We found an actual end of the map. But we don't fall off it like it's a Unity engine. Um. Huh. I'll just skip ahead until I find something, and I don't want you guys to get confused or bored here. But I'm curious as to what I'm even looking for, since there's no dirt path or anything. Oh! A 
person. Fucking hell. He's just standing here. Uh, space? Crossing that space won't get you anywhere. The vein that connects the two worlds. I'm called Scratch. I'm a wanderer of sorts, of some small renown. On your way to the ruin, you should be on the lookout. Okay, so... At the edge of the world, maybe there'll be... an area of which we can travel. It's already heavily implied, at least in the comment section of the store, that there's more to the game than meets the eye. Um... So, I'm not sure if it'll be like an alternate reality kind of situation, where there's a lot of hidden content, you know, it's something that you'll get game theorists going crazy over. Not sure. First plan of action for me, though, depending if it is one of those games where it's, you know, like, you don't see everything, you can't find everything, and a game's content is convoluted, and, you know, it's just like an easter egg full of goodies and riddles and secret things hidden in the game files, and it'll take the works of tons of augmented or alternate reality kind of specialists and riddle-obsessed people to dive into the game's files and data mine it and everything else, and I'll be sitting here over like, oh, okay. There'll be tons of the YouTubers that do all that research and, like, work as some kind of professional team to get shit done. Meanwhile, I'm like, hmm, I can't figure this out. Well, I guess that's the end for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I'm just an average person. I'm just a gamer. I can't solve these epic mysteries, but we'll see what I can do in terms of gameplay, and we'll see if I can find anything secretive. You never know. Maybe I'll just bump into something really cool that will help people looking for something interesting, and I'll find something that just immensely helps. By sheer luck. By sheer RNG. Oh, wait. Oh. I went outside the world and it went to another one. Maybe that'll help? So wait, maybe when I exit off the grid, there's a new grid, it's different areas of the forest. Oh, but man, who's to say where the character is in each of these possible grids? I could think of many theories right now, but a lot of them could be completely off. I'm presuming maybe we're on a grid of many, many squares that are just unloaded to save memory because it is a Super Nintendo. We're running on the implications of Super Nintendo software or hardware. I'm wondering if the map is built like, you know, like a 9 times 9 grid kind of thing, or just you know, a grid. And each grid has these square lots of forest and dirt. When you exit one, southwest, northeast, and you, you don't know, you won't even know what direction you're going, but it connects to another grid, and each of those grids has something in it. But since there's such slow movement, and such the, there's no forest pathways, there could be something in each of those f tiles, but you won't know about it unless you've thoroughly searched every area. So, if true, like, right here, yeah. There's definitely going to be more to this. I don't even know if I'll run into anything. I'll keep moving forward and hope I run into something then, because I ran into that dude. And honestly speaking... Screenshot-wise... And as, wait, the GameStar page also says, it says, Basilisk is an unfinished RPG for the Super Nintendo, now mostly stable and playable through very old SNES Y Plus emulator. You play as a noble knight from the Old Kingdom sent down to solve the famine. Even though, I, like, we haven't seen a town yet. Controls are written in the options Dropbox. Dropbox? Dropbox. Yeah. See, like, the very minimal things. It's weird. Wait, wait. Load states. Oh, maybe this is a mystery then. Hang on. There's load states to the game already in it. Hang on. Empty. 
When I look in the save folder, I guess I can show my screen. I don't think there's anything incriminating except me having a, a folder called Susuma Hirasawa open, because, I mean, the guy's a good artist. Load states, though. Ah, maybe we don't need to randomly explore. Maybe, like, the save states have prominent locations to maybe show us things we should see. Or... Technically speaking, I mean, that is the joy of an emulator, you have sa having save states. I forgot about that. So then it's like, I should have maybe saved at the dude's location, maybe. Okay, hang on. Let's state one. That makes things more interesting. If I never use the save states, where am I in the game? There's a lot more trees here. A door. A tavern. Oh. So wait, save screenshots, but we don't have save... We can't save states. We can only load states. Oh. This is also another thing I saw in the screenshot. Okay, okay, okay. Who knows how long I'd be randomly roaming that forest until I either find nothing... ...or... ...use just the save states to show prominent locations. Another thing. Just because they say in the game store page... ...that it is a work in progress... ...an unfinished RPG. Either they're telling the truth or that's part of the... ...game lore to claim it's unfinished, you know, the typical, oh, it's unfinished, it's, it's buggy, weird glitchy situations might happen, haha, <laughs> but hey, that'll be part of the story, you know, those kind of things. Don't know. Who are you? Or I know who you are, you're, you're Scratch, but, but she betrayed me, and now she's gone like all the others. Oh, you made it. This keep is all that's left of the old kingdom. Once there was a nice gal here, I was sweet on her once. That sounds wrong. But she betrayed me. Oh, okay, the conversation... ...was on, uh, ...the wrong part. Now, can I roam outside this building structure? What's behind the walls, bro? Slowly rotating, and... okay. I'll keep backing up, see if I run into something different. Being that I can roam outside... Hang on. It might be... Wait, that's the exterior wall, hang on. Oh. I'll keep backing up and hopefully maybe abrupt, like go into another room or something like that. And if not that, we're just going to go into... Because oh. I'm going to assume it... Overlaps? Let's see. Let's move forward from here. Let's see what happens. If nothing, the next load state. Each load state definitely has to have something hidden, though. Curiously. Oh, late state. Okay, that's in the building. This state... A different part of the forest. Oh. Please help me. How? What is this place? Oh no, come on. Okay, well that's... Great. Okay, don't talk to that one. We'll follow them and hopefully they'll lead me on a trail. Ghost to ghost. Um, there you are. Just gotta maybe go here and then turn around. See if there's another one in view. And keep following them. Maybe they'll lead me somewhere. Because this one's bugged and you, you just don't talk to this one. <laughs> uh, oh, there. I do want to... Wait, is this the one that was before me? Or am I? No! God damn it. Okay, how about... Are they everywhere?
There's just so much potential for things to be hidden, even if it is unfinished. Like, actually technically unfinished. Hmm. All I can do, I guess, is just show that the game exists, because if I don't figure anything out, if there's things to figure out... Because even if there wasn't anything to figure out, unless the de I mean, I'm, the developer wouldn't lie and be like, yeah, there's nothing, you know, yeah, there's plenty of things for you to look for. They implied there are hidden things. I just don't know if I'd be one of those people to find it. But it's an interesting concept. Like, you got a RPG Super Nintendo game, you know, like a creepypasta story. Except it's not built like a, a stereotypical creepypasta. It's not like, Whoa, bro, I found this Super Nintendo cartridge in the dumpster. It's unnamed. Whoa, it's so corrupted and spooky. Instead, it's just... It is a Super Nintendo emulated game. And that's it. But what is within? What is going on? And what does it all mean? What kind of story are they trying to tell is a curious question. This guy's very, the knight is very much not going to solve the uh, issue of famine, though. If I'm roaming a forest being like, bruh, where the fuck am I? What is this nightmare situation? Looks like I can't leave this forest, hang on. This is one lone forest. There could, there definitely should be something like an NPC in here. Or an enemy. Maybe. It's merely unsettling. But since the grids are each forest, each tile, or a tile set, is decently sized that you may roam around and there might be one NPC standing in the forest like the first time, but you may not even bump into him unless you, like, absolutely comb the entire level. And that kind of time is shit I don't have, <laughs> I'll be completely honest. What's interesting, and then there's a missing file state 5, so there maybe is something from 4 that could lead to 5? Like, say, 1 leads to 2, 2... 1 leads to 2, 3 could lead to 4, which could lead to 5, but we don't have that access. 6... says demo. Like a beginner reel? Like in PlayStation 1 games? I'm like, I'm not controlling this, I'm kind of curious. Is that how you're gonna solve the famine? Yeah, I'm, maybe this is supposed to be like some kind of like, uh... A reference to the Windows 95, like... Wolfenstein 3D styled mazes, but instead it's like... A horror spin on it? You know, hey, there's a woman with a baby. Send her to the Shadow Realm, of course. But can we control anything here? M and M doesn't no, doesn't work. There could be controls like the F keys you could use to change things. Disable, reset. Inf input config doesn't do anything. Yeah. There's. Video, the only thing that works is full screen and windowed. Sound, input conflict doesn't work, help doesn't work. This might be a fake emulator. Or just a bare bone emulator. That's been torn apart specifically for this game only, because it's... It's not right, it's different. It doesn't have save states, it's missing a lot of features on purpose. You can't access any... You. Just walk by him. In the last save state that we get. Oh! What well, doesn't this make me think of uh, Eye of the Beholder? Okay. Well, I'll travel here, sure. The last place. Because otherwise, unless something interesting like, and huge happens, I'm going to assume it's more comparable to uh, LSD emulator, but without the LSD. I'm, I'm thinking it like that, like, an LSD emulator. It's crazy worlds connected to each other with some presumed, and I, I, I can be completely wrong because I have no idea about LSD simulator, but I think there's a wake and beat LSD simulator. 
I think, or just uh, it's a confusing game. But I'm I'm getting comparing this game to LSD Simulator makes things make more sense just without the LSD. Could you believe it? It seems nowhere is safe, not even a castle. To think that the basilisk made it all the way here. Show me. I'd like to see it. Oh, invisible walls. Maybe. I want to see something spooky. Let's keep moving forward then. Oh, oh come on! Game over. That can't be right. I hit enter and then it went bing. Also, hopefully my f webcam didn't flicker and stop, but that's different. Hey, and I just... Huh. I'll check it out one more time, but I'll go in the other direction. So... We're in a castle. The guy says the basilisk has showed itself. I roam and I see a giant eye and then I die. Like, completely helplessly. Curious. Right here, too. I'm not sure if it means anything, but the file... All the stuff up here flickers when I get near here. Why? I do... Oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. There's definitely something off with the game, 100%. There could be invisible walls, hidden buildings, hidden characters, hidden situations, hidden monsters, hidden lore, I... Yeah, who knows. I'll double check this one more time, and then I'll leave it there and leave it for you curious people to dig into. Yeah, we can't back up. This is an unavoidable death. I'll see if I can see it and then back the fuck up as soon as it becomes visible. Ugh. Curious. It is death if I go more forward. So, what if I back up into it? Hmm. Weird. Reset and disable sound doesn't work, too. Nothing works. Huh. There's definitely probably a lot of things hidden in here. But hey, if you go to the Game Store page in the description below, you will see that Kira, as I'm showing here, say, for instance, a person asks, Do you mind if I t make a Discord server for this game? It appears there is more than meets the eye. And they say, no, I don't mind, but you're also welcome to discuss it in their server. So, if you want to help dig around if there's more to find in this game, and this kind of tickles your fancy, then hey, you can join the... You can go to the store page in the description in the link below, and then get to this link and then join them and uh, discuss it. You can also do it in my server too, of course, nothing's stopping you, but hey... There'll be a lot more people likely poured into this Discord if they're, like, really heavily wanting to, I don't know, mine it, dig through it, things like that. Even then, I have to also question, as I'm showing my screen here, why is the cartridge, the background is an abandoned, broken-down building? Why, why is that? <laughs> it's kind of curious... Location deliberately done. Well, why is that, I wonder? If I click this, what does it do? Loading 3D model. Basilisk SNES cart. Triangles, vertices, more model information. Let's see if we can dig anything in here. Anything on purpose that would help. Triangles, quads, eh. Seems pretty basic, I don't know. Just 
just, uh, man, that's kind of weird. But what if we look in their account? Maybe there's, hey, lost in people car. Yeah. Bunch of things in here. Sin. Octina Basilisk. Corpse Ocean. Oh. Interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. Corpse Ocean. That was fun. That was otherwise interesting game. Very strange. But I hope you enjoyed the premise of it. And again, if you, it's your if it's your thing to dig into these kinds of games, you know, eat your heart out. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big muffle scarper, and the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Rawr.